This is Heidenhain's LS106. It's no longer in standard production in Heidenhain. It's been replaced by the LS187. Thousands of these scales are still in production today. Now they produce a 11 microamp signal and most likely if you trace the cable of the output you'll trace it back to what is called an EXE box. This is an EXE 101. It takes in the 11 microamp right there, converts it to a square wave TTL, and usually has an interpolation factor of times 5 or times 10. This gives your control a resolution input of either a 1 micron or half micron resolution. Now the, 187, or the 186 did replace the 106. If your 106 scales in good condition, the glass is not scratched or cracked, we could easily replace the reader head, that is this part right here, and all you do is take off the end cap and slide it in. We can take care of that as well. This is a picture of a damaged 106 where the glass has been broken. And so the customer most likely then would go with the LS-186. Now the difference between the 106 and 186 is the type of signal it produces. The new 186 produces a 1 volt peak to peak signal, which is a stronger, more robust signal. The output cable you would notice on the LS-186 is a 12 pin. It's a 1 volt peak to peak whereas the output of the LS-106 is a 9 pin, 11 microamp. So we know you don't want to change parameter issues and redo cabling in your machine, so Hi9 has what we call a signal adapter. And what we do, we, the output cable from your old LS-106, we screw it right onto that existing cable, and the 186, we put the signal adapter on, screws in just like that, and then that adapter could receive your extension cables. Possibly your adapter then could go right into the EXE box. This is again, now it is receiving the 11 microamp signal right into the box instead of the 1 volt peak to peak. And the output signal will be the same TTL 